Hey guys, happy splasher here. Good morning. So right now we're going to start on the new world event. So yeah, so let's get it going. So as you can see, it is called Night of Permissiveness. We have a new hero here, looks like, and they do have a new design. Pretty cool. And so yeah, so let's hop right in. So this is, uh, as it says over here, the entire Pangea is awake this night. As the sun sinks below the horizon, all kinds of evil creatures emerge. And tonight, those little rascals get to roam free, full of mischief, tricks, and playful wickedness. The Lord Protector is also no stranger to fun, so he decides to join the festivities. The demons and the undead are none too happy about it. Could it be that someone is plotting real evil on the sly? What does that mean on the sly? Anyways, so yeah, so we have these event rewards over here. Let's check out what we got. So we're gonna. Yep, so we have the Freddy Lord of Terror. We have the Omniraki. We have this Ar 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 Arachne. Okay, you got a couple of cool skills with the Toxin, some Health Steel, and then also Mental Shield at the end of the turn. Also, some Epic Scrolls and some Gems. So yeah, so let's hop right in. So Chapter 1. Where are the spiders going? Pumpkins are hanging everywhere. Ghosts are scurrying about the place. The Lord Protector joins the Knight of Permissiveness, although no one was expecting him here. Could it be that the evil spirits are up to something? The Lord Protector decides to keep an eye on them, just in case. So here are the rewards for Chapter 1. We'll be able to get rare copies of the Freddy, along with some Epic Scrolls, a reward bonus, and then also a gallery portrait. So we'll get into the adventure here. Okay, and then we'll also make our changes as appropriate. And I'm also going to change our skin so that way we can get ready for the battles. Okay. Okay, so we have this first quest here to defeat Guard. And we'll hop right in. Lord Protector, what an honor. What brings you to the Night of Permissiveness? Are you really interested in our demonic amusement? How could I miss such an event? It's not every night that demons are allowed to mess around as much as they want. I should review the law that endorses this holiday, but as long as it's still in effect, I want to have fun too. Defend yourself. Ooh, battles. Okay, so let's look at the buildings over here. Okay, and then also this hero here with Reborn Light. We're going to attack on the open lane A. Eh? Perhaps you're right. I'm not going to have much fun here. You've got to keep a sharp eye on the evil spirits, after all. Don't you spoil our dirty tricks. Today we are allowed to release our inner demons. Go ahead, release away, but I'll be keeping my eye on you. So they're looking to have fun. But under control. Okay, so yeah, so that was guard. We will head back to the roadmap and continue. Okay, we're going to skip the ad in there. All right, the next quest here is to kill 10 enemy heroes in battle against other players. We'll hit the go. And this brings us over to Lee. We'll open up one chest over here. And we'll open up another chest over here just so that we have some spaces in battle. And we'll hop right in. Okay, and we're going to summon the Masura here on A3 so we can get some heroes. As mentioned, we do need to destroy 10 heroes in battle, so that will include either buildings or we have some other, either the, the buildings or the heroes. Looks like right now they are defending with some buildings, it looks like. I'm going to avoid summoning order heroes because of this void jewel that will be able to deal curse onto our heroes. And then once we get rid of the Void Jewel, then we will continue summoning Order Heroes. Ooh, okay. So here is the Ariachne. We're going to go with the Groot here on B2 so we can silence her. And just clear her out. Okay, and now with the Void Jewel gone, we will then summon some Order Heroes. Okay, kind of unfortunate we did want to clear out those Jimmy Rocker boys. Okay, we'll hop right into battle again and also look to clear out some more heroes. Ha -ha! Ha -ha! Ha -ha! Ha -ha! 
So once again, we are starting with the Msora on A3 to get some more copies. Had a majority of them cleared out by the Shisha with its adjacent damage skill on the kill. Okay, against the Shadow Shimuno over here, we're going to go with the Groot on B2, so that way we can silence her and then avoid the extra shards and adjacent damage. Okay, and then we're going to go with the Yoster over here on A1 with some protection behind the Dead Lord, along with some health boost. Okay, we will next go with the Ma... Uh, yeah, we'll go with the Maita next over in A3. And we dealt some damage over to the field. You also see some more stones coming out from the Ogre here. Okay, we'll go for the Count Vlad and then follow up with the Kill All Wounded to clear out the rest of these heroes. We'll also go with some more Nasaurus again. Okay, we see some health boosts with the Alexandria. We'll go with the Lifesteal and then also go with the Discordia here. Okay, and we should have had enough heroes cleared out. We did get a battle started. Also defeated other players using the skin, and then also more importantly, got through the quest on the world event. So now we will oh we'll have to pass the ad. We'll have to pass another ad again. We will now continue. Okay, so we have our next quests here. We have up top find 500 souls of heroes. Behind that, we have play heroes 30 times in battle against other players. On the bottom here, we get five rare heroes in summons or in chests. We'll start with this quest up top here. So find 500 souls of heroes. We'll hit the go. And this brings us over to the summon hall. I'm going to head out of the summon hall and then also the road map. And then head over to actually, let's see. Let's actually head over to our journey over here. And then we will claim some heroes from our journey rewards. Nice little level up. Nice little quest completed, and completed also the 500 souls. So we will head back to the roadmap and continue. Okay, we have this next quest over here. Play heroes 30 times in battle against other players. We will need to actually hop back into battle in order to do that, but seeing as that it will take a little bit of time, so we're going to do this bottom quest here. So get five rare heroes in summons or in chest. We'll hit the go. And this brings us back to the league. We're going to actually close this out and then we will head over to the summon hall. And then we'll open up a, let's see. You know, this, this seems about right to go for. Actually, we'll, we'll just open a couple of mercenaries chests over here. As you can see, we can get in some rares and we'll keep opening some more summons or mercenaries chest with the summons. Kind of feels inefficient here because we're only getting one rare. So we'll do this. Maybe we'll actually let's head out of there. Let's go to the mighty pass. We do have some rare chests over here. So let's open those up. Oh, hey, another ad. Amazing. Okay, so we need to open up one more. And there we go. So we are now complete with that quest. We'll head back to the roadmap and continue. Okay, we have this next quest here to defeat Jack. Okay, and we'll hop right in. Summon your dead men. Long live the night of permissiveness. Long live the darkness. Long live. Why so gloomy? Shall we put a smile on your face? They put it on my pumpkin, as you can see. Well, actually, they carved it. Maybe being gloomy is my thing. Don't push it or you'll taste my pumpkin punch. Ooh. <laughs> sounds, sounds dangerous. Okay, let's look at some of the buildings here. Okay, and then another hero with Reborn in Flight will attack on the open lane A. 
Okay, come on, Lord Protector. Can't you take a joke? I wasn't going to do anything evil for real. It was just a bit of harmless fun. Yeah, I've heard all about your harmless fun. There's no trusting you. Don't be so grim. Relax, and let me pour you some jolly ale. After all, you're here to celebrate, aren't you? Oh man, the puns. Okay, so that was Jack. We'll head back to the roadmap and continue. Okay, hey, another ad. Okay, the next quest here is to level up Chaos Heroes four times. We'll hit the go. And this brings us over to our squad. We will close out this first, head back actually out of the roadmap and then over to our guild. And then we will activate a bonus over here to lower the level up cost. And we'll do that for the one day because we don't need to level up that much. We'll head over to the squad and then we'll filter for heroes that we can level up. In this case, we're going to level up our chaos heroes. And so we'll filter our we'll filter for those. And then also as our favorites, we marked our legendaries as well. And let's see. We'll do the lower level ones. So we do have this Mr. Flap. Let's see if there's anything over here. We have 12. Still looking around. Oh, where did Mr. Flap? Here we go. All right, so let's do this once, twice, number three, and number four. Okay, so we are now complete with that. We will head back to the roadmap and continue. Okay, we have this next quest here, Defeat Prophetess. And we'll hop right in. Tisk, look at these near duels spoiling the fun. Shoo. Better scram while I'm asking nicely, or I'll slug you so hard. Oh, loosen up. You're so pretty, yet you swear like a drunken orc. I saw no swears there. Okay, so we have this samurai dog that deals some random damage. We have also these buildings over here. And we'll attack on the open lane C. This is the night of permissiveness, and that means everything is permissed. A lot. Amazing. That counts me too. Sure, sure. Much is to be permissed tonight. Just give it time. That's so awkward to use that word permissed. A lot. Sounds better. <laughs> so that was Prophetess. We'll head back to the roadmap and continue. Okay, we're on this next quest here. Defeat other players four times. We will actually, you know, we'll actually do this offline and then we will come back for some more of this world event. So we will see you guys later. All right, guys, we will continue on with the world event. So currently we're on this quest here. Defeat other players four times. We did do the battles and now we are complete. So we will continue. Okay, we have the next set of quests here. We have up top, get 12 heroes and summons or in chests. Behind that, we have kill 50 enemy heroes in battle against other players. On the bottom here, we have find 500 souls of the event rares. So let's do this quest up top first. So get 12 heroes in summons or chests. We'll hit the go. And this brings us over to the summon hall. We'll head out of, or actually that's in the squad or league over there. What am I doing? <laughs> we'll head over to, let's actually head over to our daily quest over here and we'll claim some of these rewards. So that way we can open up some chests. As you see, these chests do count for our rewards, so we'll keep opening those. Okay, we'll also open up this one over here. Or do this quest in order to get another chest. Head over to the guild here. And then send some heroes in turf war. Guess we'll go for some attacks. Yeah, I'll put in a little bit of boost. Okay, we'll head back to the daily quest again. Open up some more chests. Okay, there is another quest over here that we can do. Let's see. One is probably going to be the quickest. Well, I'll hold off on the gold mine one, but we'll do the Colosseum battles. And normally we would speed through this in order to just get it done, but if we do pass the Coliseum, we can get runes for this event. 
So we'll just make sure that we can actually get this done. These battles take a little bit of time. Pretty much as long as you can summon every time, you'll be all set. I'm going to move some of the stronger troops down here. So that way we can take care of the troops on the bottom lanes. Find some of our stronger ones over here. It's getting a little close. Okay, so that was the first Colosseum attempt. I can see those runes over there. We'll do one more as well. And now we are done with that daily quest. We'll combine some of the, uh, the common troops so that way we can have some more space for later. And then as also you can see, they have a slightly uh, slightly quicker attack speed. We'll move some of our stronger troops down here to account for the more troops on this lane C. And I don't want to do too much combining because you'll end up attacking slower than if you had weaker troops. Okay, with nobody attacked over here, we want to make sure that we have troops to attack on the upper lanes. Okay, so we'll head back out of the Coliseum. Skip the ad, unfortunately. We'll open up this other chest here. Okay, we'll also open up these weekly chests as well. And any rarity is fine, and any reward is fine, as long as you do open up a chest. Guess we'll, let's see here. We'll do the one summon over here with a mercenary's chest. Okay, and we are now complete with that quest. Okay, so we'll head back to the roadmap and continue. Okay, we have this next quest here, kill 50 enemy heroes in battle against other players. So it's either that quest or this quest down here, find the 500 souls of event rares. We'll hit the go and we'll try and find some of those heroes. Uh, at this point, we will do a 10x mercenary summon and hopefully we'll open up any one of the event rares. Okay, and oh, we did get uh, double copies of the event rares because that is what happens. And we also did get an event rare, so we actually complete with that. So we're waiting for these chests to open up and then we'll head back to the roadmap to continue. And so, you know what, because we're actually a little, we actually have the time to do these other battles. So we'll head back and do this quest up top. So kill 50 enemy heroes in battle against other players. This will take a while because as mentioned, we will need to kill a number of heroes. So we'll also do this offline and we will see you guys later. All right, guys, we are back. We have also worked on this other quest offline. So kill 50 enemy heroes in battle against other players. So we will now continue and we'll get both rewards. Okay, we'll skip the ad. And we're on this next quest here. Activate rare obelisk in place of power two times. We'll hit the go. And this brings us over to the place of power. We'll activate the rare obelisk two times and we'll also skip the animation. Then hopefully we can either pull some bonus runes or potentially the new epic. And we got the rare hero, which is actually not bad. We'll probably need her for chapter three. So we'll now head back to the roadmap and continue. Okay, we have this next quest here to defeat Hunter. And they do have a skill, so at the beginning of the turn, we'll give an attack boost to allies for each enemy. Spiders, where are all the spiders going? Hey you, do you see the spiders? I need to get on their trail. I saw one lady with spiders. She barked at me like a lousy knoll and vanished. What's gotten you so wound up? Chill out, buddy. 
You haven't seen the real anger of demons hardened in the heat of the lower world. And I'm not your buddy. I don't even know you. That's fair. Okay, so let's take a look at the buildings. And then also this melee hero over here has a little bit of vampirism and also metal shield. We'll attack on the open lane C. Just take a breath. I'm not your enemy, okay? Since this is the night of permissiveness, I'm not going to be too hard on you. This is a special night of permissiveness. Spiders call upon Arachne, who grants cherished desires. Oh, that's interesting. Which tent is Mr. Weaver in? I'll peek in. I'll drop in for a peek. Not Mr. Mistress. And I don't know the tent. All I know is to follow the spiders. They will lead you to the right place. Normally when you don't want to follow a trail of spiders, but yeah, what are you going to do? Okay, so that was Hunter. We will head back to the roadmap and continue. Okay, we have this next set of quests here. We have up top, speed up four chest. Behind that, we have find 1200 souls of common heroes. On the bottom here, level up any of the event rares to level 16. We're going to skip this quest up top, the speed up four chest, because we will need gems in order to do some speed ups. So because of that, we will do this bottom one here. So level up any of the event legendaries to level 16. We do have the new hero, but we also have those two previous heroes, the Grim Harvester and then also the Scarecrow. And so that is why this is already complete. So we will continue. Okay, we have this next quest here, summon two times, we'll hit the go. This brings us over to the summon hall. And at this point, we will do two mercenary summons because as you see, this first one here does count. So we'll do that once more. Okay, also good that we did get some of that new hero again. Okay, and we also do want to save our gems because we will need them for Demi God scrolls Demigod summons and the scrolls for later. Okay, so we will now continue. Okay, the ad again. <laughs> We're on the final quest of chapter one here. So defeat John. We'll have to go. And they do have a skill. So whenever an enemy appears, they will deal some damage to our warlord. Oh, Jack, long time no see. I see you're still smiling, which means I didn't beat you so bad. I'm not Jack, I'm John. You couldn't care less about the undead. Can't even tell one scarecrow from another. All you're doing is wreaking havoc on the undead. And never mind that we have feelings too. This is true. We should be sensitive to the feelings of the undead. <laughs> so we're looking at some of the buildings here. We'll attack on the open lane C. Take some damage and that is all right. Ahem, Jack, I didn't know you were so sensitive. I'm sorry. Really, I'm sorry. I can't sense it all, but I want to, so much. More than anything, I want to be alive, to have a real beating heart in my chest. I hope that Arachne will grant it to me, that she'll fulfill the old straw John's wish. You stole that from the Wizard of Oz. Okay, so that was John. We will head back to the roadmap and continue. Okay, and this is the end card for chapter one. So, Freddy, Lord of Terror. Freddy is no mere scarecrow, but a true element of terror. This inexhaustible specter knows no bounds, his maniacal cackle tormenting anyone that dares get too close. Freddy craved the night of permissiveness with particular awe. Hopelessly oppressed on the ordinary days and nights, he wished that the night would never end, and thus he would be free to sow chaos and eternal darkness. Okay, so we'll grab our rewards, and we will head to chapter 2. So chapter two, Endless Desires. Hundreds flock to see the mysterious Arachne. The evil spirits say that the most sacred desires come true in her abode. The Lord Protector has dreams too. As he joins the endless line of Arachne's admirers, he can't help but notice that something's off with the demons and scarecrows, which is too odd, even for the Knight of Permissiveness. Okay, so here are the rewards for chapter two. We'll be able to get epic versions of the Omniraki, along with some demigod scrolls some reward bonuses, and then also a gallery portrait. So we'll head right into chapter two. Okay, so we're on this quest here, defeat caretaker, we'll hit the go. And as you can see right now, we're currently out of attempts, so we'll need to wait until we get some more. So yeah, we will see you guys later when we have some more attempts. This is Happy Splasher, signing off.